Mary Anning. In a tiny cramped house on the south coast of England, there lived a girl called Mary. Her house was so close to the sea that sometimes the storms would flood it. The winds and storms that swept along the coast often revealed fossils in the cliffs along the shoreline. These are the remains of prehistoric plants or animals that died a long time ago. Mary could not go to school because her family was too poor, but she taught herself to read and write. She studied geology to learn more about rocks and anatomy to learn more about the skeletons of the prehistoric animals she found. One day, she saw a strange shape jutting out of a rock. Mary took out her special little hammer and carefully chipped away at the rock. Bit by bit, she uncovered a 30 foot long skeleton. It had a long beak, but it wasn't a bird. Rows of sharp teeth, but it wasn't a shark. Flippers, but it wasn't a fish. And a long, thin tail. It was the first ever discovery of that kind of dinosaur fossil. And she named it Ichthyosaur meaning fish lizard. At the time, people believed that the earth was only a few thousand years old. Mary's fossils helped prove that there had been life on our planet for hundreds of millions of years. Scientists from all over the world came to see Mary, the self-taught scientist who loved walking by the sea. 